Watson call for aid. It's going to be a 3-2 split of the CT. Very passive here. You can see it all the way back as Mantu takes some more contact here. A couple of P250s in the mix. One for Rez. One for Hampus as they just continue to comb for info here. But Alexi hits a screamer. Oh. Nico gets one. And this is looking great now for OG. Yeah, looking for a response is Plopski. He's been spotted out on the slither gap. Nico advancing, looking for another. And that's Linus with the util. Should be round defining. And just about on the last of the clip does find the head necessary. So call this one OG. And I think now is a better time than most. Yanko feeling like OG won that veto. Open and shut. Yeah, it doesn't really make much sense why NIP removed Vertigo, uh, at least from what we know about what's been going on, I mean, right? the Vertigo did look pretty weak. Yes, but OG don't play Vertigo. They don't play So as, as far as we know, OG do not play Vertigo. They also have not ever played in an official capacity ancient. Doesn't that leave them pretty vulnerable, you'd think? And that's what we think. That's why <laughs> coming in today, right, you were, you, were th you were thinking there might be an option where if ancient was going to get taken out of the equation, it was going to be, you know, the, a bit of a gamble, right? Because yeah. NIP didn't have to ban Vertigo. They could probably float it through to the second wave. There, there were so many different things that could have happened here. And I don't think any of us were expecting this. Well, let's see if NIP can back it up with some resistance early. They have equipped themselves with pretty scary looking Deagle and Tech 9 mix. They do have a lot of space here to work with early, but one of the things here is OG know they're up against the pistols. There was no plant, so no AK 47s to worry about. No need to get too aggressive across the map here. As Mantu and Nico, you can see they're defending the A site. And uh, oh, just this slow crawl crawl again here from NIP. Similar as to what we saw just on that pistol round. Now setting up with a bit of U-Tilt. Couple of smokes, couple of flashes in the mix here for the A site take. As long as they get the bomb down, they can start to deal with this post-plant situation. So smokes are in the air. Defending in front of them now. Mantu and Nico look for a gap. That's a good find from Nico. He can tuck in and let Mantu activate. It is only for the one. Rez on long with the frag, and they'd love a plant. The smokes are up. Now is a better time than most. Oh, device, though, is planting right in front of the nose of Nico, and he will punish. Completely denies the plant. Rez, just the last to fall, taking one more with him. Okay, well, that's three kills in the first two rounds of play. So uh, just to give you the context of what I'm talking about there, they haven't been close rounds. They've looked quite clean and easy for OG. They stopped another bomb plant going on down. Now, one of the things I thought when I saw this veto shaking out, maybe not so much with Mirage coming through as the second, but at least Overpass, I'm hoping maybe we'll see a bit more from Device, right? And it's one of these things that... He he played in Astralis, guys. They didn't play Mirage. Now he plays in NIP, a team that plays Mirage, right? And then there's other maps like Ancient, which is new to the pool. On the T side, you hardly see him orping, right? Yeah, I'm just wondering, like, a lot of these things aren't playing to Device's strengths. That's true. That's actually true. True. Yeah, yeah I don't know. It's, it's a weird one, but I get it, right? If you're threat, you want to build the team in the way that you feel fit. And having Ancient pretty high up in your map pool, or your first pick in a lot of these situations, is a good map to have. It's a bit of a bogey map and in a scenario like today's matchup. Could have come in handy. Yeah, but, uh... <laughs> I mean, look, there's a balance. I don't know how much as a coach I'd want to be playing into the strengths of my two times major MVP. Oh, that's saved, saved rather by the man to MP9. Did look to go a little awry there and it's got to be careful with that duel on Rez's dig. Device trying to take space away from Alexi, but I do not fancy his chances. This is unarmored, so we have to be the first to be pulling the trigger. Uh, yeah, Alexi gets in a nice angle from him. Rez's Deeg still threatening. He's already caught two in this round, and with the bomb on his back and time, he can at least have a little adventure. The CTs are going to be divided, or at least that's how it typically sets up. Now, this is actually, dare I say it, Chad, quite a predictable mid-round position from Valder. I'm sure Rez is anticipating a late flank, potentially, if he does start to poke and prod. Yeah, this right here, the, uh, just really hitting that pause right now from Rez, hoping that another kill would come his way or an over-rotation, maybe a step, maybe a little bit of information to work with. 25 seconds left. It will have to be this A finish. Now, he has time to walk up and clear. If he's able to take Alexi out of the picture, the bomb can go down. Volder will be on the flank, but it all comes down to this fight. Has to be a bloody scorcher. Doesn't clear the corner. All right, that is going to be the third for OG. A flying start for them. And I definitely say would like my hot favorite for this head-to-head, -head, as well as potentially some upset potential throughout the uh, the semifinals. Mm. I mean, I know we've got the, the CIS Wonder Children available and uh, likely to be in those semis. 
I, I think that can be a good matchup. I was curious tonight as well when we do have the Vitality Gambit game. Look at Alexi's locks. They're getting very luscious. Uh, is the Gambit in the head-to-head -head against Vitality the last time they played Vitality beat them? So yeah. it's an interesting game well, against the I French. I think it was Nafani or, or Hobbit saying he, he's looking forward and wants to play them again for revenge. Very heavy B indication here from NIP. They're just going to walk up through Monster. Linus is going in. Going to yeah. be lots of pressure here. Careful now. Linus is looking snappy. Does take down Valdi. And Flames a defensive smoke. He's going to try and play around it. Hoping he won't be cleared from the ramp side. And Straight bullets. But he's actually set himself up for survival there. Oh, oh he catches he another. That? He's still alive, Chad. No HP. But that smoke has set him up for success. He takes two. And so does this round for Rez and Hampus. Timing is everything. He's got the lineup to smoke off heaven. Nico just walks straight in and says no, one on one. But Mantu Zorp is quicker. And that will be another for OG. NIP's first buy, and it comes down to a 1v1. Yeah, well, look, it was a very, very action packed round here. But Flames, this is just a miracle shot through the smoke, right? Have a look at what he's operating with here. The fact he's gotten three in this, like, this is just wild. Nine. He's just peppering away. It's unreal that he takes Plopsky out there. That's a Hail Mary attempt. And it sets the team up for a very, very winnable two on two. So great stuff from Nico and Mantu as well. So, Tech 9, Deagle, Cheeky Mac 10 action in there, and again leaning towards the B side. Alexi will be jumping for early damage, and he's found it. Two nades combined to bring Hampus down to 50. We're rocking and a rolling with a bit of short aggro here. Flames considering his options. The flash is just perfect. There you go, another opening kill for OG. And flames to wrap things up. Rez is the only one that's been a slight threat on these Deagles and Kamblar rounds, and good God. OG getting more frags than we're getting messages. And there's another for devices. Deagle and Mantu falls as well. Heating up. The Dane shouldn't have any more to say. My God, that is scary. He nearly takes them all down, Chad. Jeez, 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 okay. Like, I mean, one, sure, two, okay, stop at the third. My <laughs> goodness, device, that was a very close to absolute masterclass there. He's we'll keeping see it, it again. honest, isn't he? Really keeping it honest right there. Oh, wow. Just feeding him the heads. Well, this is what you want to see from device, right? He's He's had, he, didn't he have that crazy deagle round from back monster overpass as well? Yeah, yeah, as he was coming in from this That's position it. right here, exactly. actually. So, uh... Nearly this time, nearly. Yeah, added not one to the, the tally. And Device straight through the flames. That cost him 40 points of health. Quite the blood sacrifice. Let's see if he can justify it with a frag. And oh, my goodness. A Famas wins out the duel. <laughs> He's done a lot with the Famas, hasn't he, he has. Flames? I think Nico's bottom didn't get spotted. He's just tucked in. Mantu, I can't believe he's posted up there with an orc. So OG getting a little experimental. This is about to get really weird right now. We've got Rez pushed up towards the sandbag position of short. Hampus is working on this long crawl. Plopsky in connector. Nico's gone unchecked. Yeah, but the thing is, if Nico hasn't communicated... Oh, he definitely has because Alexi B, he's hanging out now and he's aware that this is a possibility. So they're leaving Nico here aggressive as a bit of a sleeper, right? He'll activate once they have more information. And Speaking of sleepers, Hampus has just been parked in the buster spot as well. Yeah, so this is going to get really, really weird right now. It feels like Volta is going to be able to do enough from this position to at least get one. And Linus has the bomb. Oh, he's been spotted, blinded up. Oh. Linus, huge kill. Yeah, that changes everything, and it should favor NIPs first. They've got to convert something like this. And down goes Plopsky. Perhaps not such a guarantee. They're still hesitant to walk into B. It defended by an MP9 on flames. I mean, it should be an open runway. They're waiting for the flank, that's why. Look at this. Oh no, Hampus has completely whiffed it. He's thrown this one away and perhaps a little more threatening now from OG. I say that as flames falls. And yeah, Alexi just looking to save. So NIP, I, I could be mistaken, Chad, but I feel like that was their first opening kill and they've converted it. Ooh. 
Yeah, I don't know. Let me have a look. I'm going to scroll through the old Ghibli whip. Remember, we're a couple minutes ahead here. I know, we are in that I future. I know, but I can, don't, don't I get to look at the HLTV Ghibli whip? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's... It, it, okay, you're going to be go. about two rounds in, I think. Round so, oh. Yeah, so you're going to have a, a while before that one catches on up. But uh, I, I think right there, one of the key things which I, I didn't point out was the fact that Devices Deagle had done a lot of damage to the economy there of OG going into that round. You saw Alexi operating with a SMG, and, and I do believe Flames was down to that Famous. So Alexi having to hold on to this, uh, quite important for him to do so here because there's nothing left in that bank balance for OG going into round number seven. I will correct myself. It was the on the round four, Linus did get that opening kill, but that was when Flames got three. You know, Linus got the first on the way into B, but Flames with sure. the FAMAS and the smoke and the USP and all that. That but naughty business. The fourth on the board. This was a good catch, though, from Plopsky. Speaking of opening frags, and Linus, this was a big catch as well. Needed that onto Valder. Chad believing that Valder's position alone could defend the site. Linus changing up mind. Yeah, it's just weird because that position Valder's in, he can see quite deep through monsters. So if Linus was to step out of line there, he could get gunned on down. That bomb would have been dropped and noted, and OG could have pieced the puzzle together. But now they're left in a position where they have slightly invested. There's some deagles on the board. They saved AK under pressure right now. Molly extinguished. Alexi, oh, he's actually going to try and push through this. Bullets through the smoke. It has been noted. They know where the AK is now. IP can start building a little bit of a mental picture here, and they are just opting for a bit of a default spread. This one, a bit more B-centric. We've got Plopsky and Hampus down towards connector. Rez making sure they can't push the playground, and Linus and Device in tandem watching each of these pipes over towards the B-bomb site. Bomb going to be scooped on up by Rez. I do not fancy Flames and Valder's chances here. Valder has a smoke, but it depends on how he dumps it. We see a lot of teams put it next to the pillar, and, well, that might not even matter. Flames is down. It is just Valder. He needs backup. He needs it now. Alexia Mantu on the wrong side of things. Valder just going to tuck in on a more passive line, hoping to hit one hot shot as he strafes out from ABC. And yeah, call cool, that one quits. Yeah, I think Alexi's just going to save again here. So, oh, gee, if they can find another kill, maybe gra grab another AK out of this round, that'd be the best thing they're looking for here. But we'll call this NIP second. And does the desk highlight it with some of those lovely graphics? The T side is where NIP tend to have some of their struggles. So anything they can be posting here early is very good signs. Now this matchup, uh, it's really hard to tell, right? We know that we had the Mouse Sports versus NIP game, NIP picking that one up. And if you come out of the group stage of Group D, NIP needing to get that win over Gambit, a couple of other results going here, there, and everywhere to actually get them on through after flubbing the game against the stand in Furia with the coach of Gary. But if they can now come into the playoffs and they can show some really solid signs here against OG, who topped their group, then uh, now we'll, we'll forget about that, right? They've made it through with a team ranked as low as Team 1. It doesn't, isn't a great performance indicator for your overpass. But this, closing the gap now, is compulsory. This should just be a two-round gap now as they collect up against USPs and Deegs. Don't forget, Alexi, perhaps with the hero, AK can make some magic happen. And Rez, he's being loud about this. There's a Might chance. Get found here. There's a chance. Alexi's going to be a bit miffed about that one. 98. It's not 100. That's my analysis. Oh, that should spur them towards B right now, unless Alexi can find something here and connect. That's a great shot onto Hampus. So he's done damage and he has a kill. This is winnable now for OG. So yeah, something getting a bit fishy for the ninjas. Trying not to be flustered. And Linus with one. Flames gets something done with the USP. And Device juggling with his weapons has led to his demise. Don't forget the damage Alexi's already inflicted. Rez is limping around and Plopsy's got his back done. They're losing to pistols, Chad. That save rifle, sure, it's potent. But a contribution from Mantu, one from Flames, leaving Rez, who just took a lick of flame, down to one HP. You got the one HP, one V3. It sounds good to say. It would look even better if he can pull it off in play. Good luck, have fun, my boy. <laughs> not gonna happen. OG, break the back of the ninjas over their knee. Huge stuff from Alexi, right? The fact that he's able to... The, the initial fight that goes down there against Rez, even though he doesn't convert, at that point, NIP can still recover. There's still an opportunity. But th this kill right here onto Hampus, that's the in-game leader dead, and he was gonna try and alleviate that Alexi pressure anyway. This forces them into the B-bomb site, where the pistols... When you're skirmishing, you know, you're scrimming in, you know it's not as detailed here. The pistols doing exactly what they need to do, just stand up close and personal, getting a couple of cheeky kills. And Alexi B comes in for his third in the round. So great stuff there from just one saved rifle. 
And NIP trip over their shoelaces. They can get the buyback out. The AKs are here and Device very aggressive pissed. up short. Look at this. Yeah, he's really pissed. And look at the result. Catching a chunk of damage from the nade. And as long as the CTs don't overstep the mark, they flash. So oh. due diligence is there and Flames is across now. Okay, well, dicing with or dancing with death right there. We could be dicing with it too, but they know that the AWP is back out here for NIP. Oh, look at the timing on the util. Rez's boost is cancelled. Linus is playing a dangerous game. He's counting on a flash here. Or not. Oh, just running away. Tail between his legs. He actually gets away with it. That is a bit of an odd one. Well, that right there, you see where Rez was volleyed out of? His position, he can throw a really nice flash there to help Linus come through. So the fact that he gets disrupted kind of changes the plan. So Linus still having a look. Lucky to get away with his life. And now NIP need to start working on the other side of the map here. Bathrooms being cleared on out. If Hampus continues forward towards long, we'll have to greet the AWP of Mantu. Nico's close and Alexi rotating over as well. Oh. They're reading this one well. Yeah, and I wouldn't want to mess with Nico and Mantu. They just look so poised. An org and an orp. Their signature weapons equipped. And he's actually going to really push the issue. Tight line held and results in the demise of Rez. Give me another. Nico struggles. Mantu has the shadow advantage. Puts the bomb on the floor. The quick scope shy. And it leaves us on a 3v3. Oh, Alexi huge. needed more. It's Hampus that puts him on the floor. And bomb now planted. Plopsky considers it. Safe plant toilet side. Won't be able to deny. And that's Flames partnered up with Valder. Do they give it a go? Their money's not great here, right? If they go for this, they lose everything. But if they can pull this one off, they can really hurt NIP. This might be worth a shot with the smoke in play. Yeah, the smoke in the kit is tempting. But you'd want to take one of these riflers down first. If you catch Hampus long, you've, you've at least got a bit of legs to it. Here comes smoke. The smoke. Take a fight, perhaps. Flames has a kit. Yeah. He's, he's on it. it. Five, four, three, two. He's getting away oh, with it. No. He's getting away with oh, it. He's actually oh. nearly. Okay, what? Wow. <laughs> I looked at the bar. Yeah, it was really it close. It was like half, if not even that, milli millimeters on the diffuse there. They finally catch a stray bullet into the smoke. It looked like they were way off on their crosshair placement. Let's see this one again. So Mansu starts off well. I think the missed quick scope cost him. The fact Nico gets nothing as well left. Definitely a bit of a problem. And Plopsky, yeah, just surviving. Look how close this is. Look at it. Look how close I that is. I swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is so close. All right, well, look what that's done. Mansu's gone into the hero AWP. They've actually four spot here. Interesting approach here from OG. They lose this one. Obviously, the loss bonus only 1,900 in the next. This is a chance for NIP to claw their way back into this half. Scoreline's still quite close here, six to three. Let's keep this AWP quite mobile here. Look where Mansu's posted up right now. You can see over towards the B bomb site at short with the AWP just looking to see if anybody's taking control. And Linus is super, super passive. It's actually A, where NIP are applying their trade right now. And if Mantu's not in the right position, they're going to have covered a lot of ground where normally the AWP can find so many kills. This has worked out perfectly for NIP. Oh, and Alexi trying to test his might and it results in the death of Nico. They can just walk through this now. They're, like, they're, they're running the show. Shouldn't be much more for these deagles to say about it. It's just Mantu now, if he rotates in, he's going to be smoked off, right? He's not going to be in a position that it would be great to AWP all the way down long. Oh, be careful, Mantu. Ooh. Jeez. Take the yeah. shot. He did hit Device. Through the corner of Optimus and dunking to finish the job. Clearing their corners. Looking great for the ninjas here. And even the hero warp just posted up. Blind to Rez's swing. So that's definitely uh, one back NIP. I think this one can call it quits from the USP slip up. Yeah, and losing that AWP there looked a little bit clunky, right? I, I, I know that Mantu wanted to help them defend the site, but after they go down, after he's the only man left, you think maybe the save could have been on the agenda. They would have hunted. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the biggest gun taken out of the server. Device, does he want to equip himself with that? They always have the option of picking that one up. Maybe they're happy just to rock these five rifles. But the one place that Mantu was, nobody from NIP was, was there to, to even greet him with a fight, right? He didn't find any traction at all until it was the AI execute. And that is one of the worst things that could happen if you're going to invest in a rifle like that. The difference is we could just use Alexi's push with the AK. Alexi found two fights immediately, one over towards Playground and one in Connector. Mantu found nothing until they were already breaching the site. Molly Bank, Molly Truck, Smoke Drop Down, nades into the site. What's he meant to do, right? He can't contribute and help his team from this angle whatsoever, and he gets blindsided. Rez just peeling on off, popping him out. And we'll call that four now for NIP as they can really now start turning on the rounds here. 
There's no Alexi AK-47 right now. So the, the biggest problem is Flames as Deagle. And as long as they just avoid putting their heads into the vice, this is looking very, very good for the Swedes, plus one. We all love a little triple boost action. Who's nominated to go up? It's only the USPs. And this looks like the perfect call again out of the ninjas. Alexi's supposed to be the little scout. I think his jiggle has been noted. But again, yeah, this is the cut in a way similar to the previous in the sense of OG investing towards the B defense and getting crawled on here to the A. Nice little progression smoke. So the biggest thing that OG have to work with right now is Flames' smoke. If he can drop that defensively, and NIP choose to run on through it, it can get a little bit interesting, but NIP really... Ah, never ah. mind. They've doubted themselves. They've had it back towards B, so... All right. We'll call this one done. Just peppering on through the smoke. Alexi being a little bit cheeky there. Gets some good damage, but... That's about all he has to note. And yeah, if you're OG at this point, don't even contest this, right? You don't have to. Just go somewhere else, look for an exit. Don't Wait and see. Don't give them the extra... 1,500 or whatever it would be, five times three, yeah. So this one here, just a bit of a stalemate. OG seeing if anybody wants to be cheeky with the peak, start hunting those eco kills. Some players get a little bit uh, undisciplined in those moments here, but being dissuaded right now. Some flashes are going to keep it that way. And maybe just a last second, uh, run up and try and get uh, a kill on the way out the door. Here Freedom! We go. For Scotland! Oh. Om yom 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 yom, aren't they tasty? Mm. We all love some eco frags. Everyone's favorite. All right, well, Flames, important that he held on to his Kevlar there. He won't have to reinvest in it right now. You know, gets a couple of extra nades on his belt. So here we go, OG back into the guns. No AWP to be held for Mantu here. So not a single AWP will be in play going into round number 12. And there's Threat. Coach of NIP, chipping on in, having a bit of a conversation. Alexi B's actually gone for a Famous here to get the Util up. He's got a kit as well. So kit watch, the two thumbs up from Graham Pitt here. We'll get this one back underway. And, uh, oh, that's not how that was meant to go. It's a trick nade. Yeah. It's like kind of Beyblading, you know. Flames, so brave to have his back like that. They're just walking in. Yeah, uh, guys. Contact, okay. Valder's managed to at least shut Hampus down, but he went one for one, and that seems to be the cancel. It's It could have been the full lost sight had it gone a little worse. Well, this works perfectly now. If you're NIP, you have a four on four, but on the T side, there's a lot more options. If you regroup, you're able to pip a bit of a gap, which Rez is right now. Mantu, they're on both sides of you. Yeah, he's looking the wrong way. Oh, elbow, I think. Nice find again from Rez. He's definitely stepping up for the ninjas here into the quarterfinals. 15 is tally so far. Up long. Defensive util, about that 45 second mark. Alexi would get some info. I think he saw the bomb as well walking up on Linus. So that is a dream around the 30 second mark. Dumping bullets, dumping util. What happens next? You've only got three CTs in play, but you've got some info that favors you. It's gonna get cleared now. Trying to play anti-flash and vision restored, but Linus better. Flames, oh, he could be the difference maker here. Oh. They take a chunk out of him and Linus is looking very quick. Not only with frags, but in getting that bomb down, plenty of time to spare. Clock extended by the ninjas, and yeah, Flames' chance is fading with every passing second. Yeah, it's a bankside plan as well here, so even if he was to go for this, he's going to have to deal with Vice at long, Linus on the side, and then Rez, who's playing the post plant, very, very passive. Flames has had enough. He's going to get on out of dodge here. Try and hold on to this AK. Device is on the chase. Sticking to that far wall, not trying to give away too many sound cues here, and he has a good idea that Flames is around. Rez is coming, looking. They might take this AK away after all. And there it is, Rez. Another kill, 16 for him. I swear if you were to look, right? I, I don't have the numbers in front of me, but if you were to look at Rez's performance 
up until the Fury game, like include the Fury game, and then look at the best of threes after the Fury game, I think it's like a whole different player. Like, I, I think that he's just been popping off in a big way because he was a necessary component in that gambit win. Now, say about that match whatever you will. He got the kills that came his way, right? That that That's the best way we can look at that. Yeah. Then he's been a, he's been a force, right? He's been he's been that second star of the team. I, I don't even think that we'd be looking to device it's to the, be the driving factor. It's the contract extension buff. But Yang put the, it the other way. Normally you take a step back, right? Oh, I got four years. I'll just chill out a bit. <laughs> no, I'm thinking in my I'm, in my mind it's the contract extension buff because he's like, oh, I'm, my uh, my employment is so secure right now. I just want to frag. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, he's got no worries in the world. Yeah. All right. As opposed to the breathing down the neck, I better frag, oh, I've got to be the playmaker, otherwise I might not get my money. I'm with you, I'm with you. That's all I'm saying. Now, it is only going to be a P250 and three Deagles, and it does sound like the start to a bad joke. Perhaps NIP a little more vulnerable and a little more apprehensive in rounds like this after losing to just a single Deagle and some USPs earlier in the piece. Admittedly, Alexi B and three frags on a saved AK, that certainly helped. Yeah, you'd, you'd hope you don't fumble this one if you're NIP because you've done a great job, right? This is your map choice. We don't have to worry about that ancient curveball in there, right? If you've been counter yeah. Well, that's a nice push, okay. And they're coming up, Monster. Couple of heads visible and looking good from Plopsky. Need to see him and partners oh. up nicely. Three in the feed instantaneously. And so the seventh. Locked and loaded. NIP, what a resurgence after a very slow start into the half. We saw a 5-0 start, now bouncing back to a 7-6 scoreline. Their pick, as Chad outlined. And they've been, like, completely emptying the OG coffers for the last, what, five rounds in a row? I think a couple of two saves over the course of five rounds for two players. It's closing the gap, and it's going to continue now. We get to see Mantu back on his AWP. Yeah, I think that's a big factor as well, right? Mantu, for me, is... Uh, he wasn't expected to be, but he's the, the star of this team. And yeah. his AWP, especially on a map like Overpass, needs to be finding some CT-sided impact. Quite the passive stance from him right now. And NIP, a icing with this B-bomb side again. Hampus and Linus going for a little bit of a walk. Been smoked off. And it looks like that's enough to hold them at bay. Oh, that is so close. He had no idea anybody was on the other side of that. Flames is lucky. Very lucky. None of that connected. Rez is literally left up to his own devices here. He can go wherever he wants, right? He's on his lonesome. Hampus is just joining him now. Plopsky's still quite passive over towards Connector. So you think he just sets his own pace? I, I think the only other player that he might be considering is Plopsky if he needs help Connector. Ooh, don't put a shoulder out of line here. Device is still watching. A lot of map control for NIP here with a minute on the clock, right? They've got long, they're still cool. locked down towards B, they've got connected, they've got everything they want. And they're heading back towards B for this finish right now. So Alexi is with Volda and Flames on the site. A lot of the success NIP have had is hitting the site the Mantu's not at. Well, with 40 seconds left, the CTs drop a monster smoke, but that's not going to deter them. NIP was set up behind that. And a bit of a gamble stack. I like this. You've got Mantu in support this time. Perhaps this could be the differentiating factor. Alexi just chooses to unload. 30 bullets into the smoke and enough onto Hampus to bring us into a 5v4. Rez equalized. Valder's the one to tip the scales Two. He's so blind. Device has closed the gap. Vision restored. And that will be the seventh. OG, deal with it. And despite all of that map control, that's the first time we've seen it kind of bite them. Yeah. Well, uh, I think NIP right there. Just trying to keep the A presence and feet planted. What you're hoping when you're doing like an A fake like that and, and there's no visibility, this is the Alexi B smoke kill. Just holding that trigger down. They have to be somewhere, right? But you're hoping Alexi B, that swing man I'm talking about here, great stuff from Volder. Only has a few kills to his name, but impact right there. Alexi gets caught over towards A, right? Because the in-game leader, he's trying to read the game. He's trying to think what that utility means, but found himself in the right place here, the fin. And OG can still win this half. Guns are back out. Hamp is very quick Not right now. D hell yeah, he's definitely got something to prove. Straight up, Nico's hidden. And whew, Alexi doesn't even need Nico's help. He remains a surprise, and that might lead to the end of Plopsky. Device to peek in. Mantu's ready for you. And he will not let that go. Two in favor of OG to finish this half strong. Missed shots. Rest very brave to be standing around up against the repeaks of Mantu. But they have to take some space back. Unfortunately, the door is open, so no sound cue required to start slipping back into the potential party position. Nico's waiting for you. Oh, he's just looked away. 
Oh, he got lucky, the reload, the, the reload helped him. <laughs> yeah, it really did. Oh, they should be more than ready for this B hit. OG are looking great here to win out the half, even though it is going to be the smallest of margins. It's just going to be the all-in monster play. 44 seconds, they're about to have a look. Mantu's waiting, here we go. Yeah, is Rez going to throw something for him? Is it just going to be dry? Yeah, dry. Okay, Mantu. Can't believe his luck. Takes out Rez, and down go the ninjas. It's the start of the gap. It was a strong start from OG's defense. Let's see if they can do the same here on theirs. Rez is just batched as a solo info play. He's going to have a little glance at Fountain and say, yep, um, mom, dad, you can pick me up now. It's getting scary in the toilets. And that info right there has forced mom and dad, which is Hampus and Device, to rotate over towards A to back him on up here. Linus and Plopsky are working on their own mission as Rez takes more contact. He's seen quite a few around the corner. Oh, okay. Plopsky tucking on in here, wanting to be uh, a factor late. We've got the 1x bet odds here favoring OG. Another line taken, device spots, peppers, and well, there it is. It's Rez to find the first blood. Oh, multiple targets. They're not trying to make any secret of this. Flashes are good. Bit of space, and oh god, a drive-by from the Glocks. USPs are still featured in the feed quite prominently. Nico will end that. Hampus is hiding in the smoke this whole time. Does he have to deny? He certainly should have something. He's got everyone's back turned. Taps into Alexi. Oh, and he's worried about Nico as well. The plan for Valde is not ideal. He's even working with his Glock. Long range, they're smoking it already. Defuse coming in. And that's it. And that's the end of the pistol. Well recovered. It's Rez with the double, but Hampus just bides his time perfectly in that smoke. Yeah, you could see the OG, right? That's not the normal smokes that you'd see on the site, right? Normally, you want to create a wall. They've actually gone to smoke off the drop-down position and fight through truck and have that as their avenue to get in towards the site here. So a bit of a different approach. I, I like it, but unfortunately those smokes were used against them and Hap is just too snappy. With 10 HP the whole time. Yeah, and here with that Linus combo, right? He's always on the smoke kid or he's dropping something. Like he's ready and raring to go. So smoke the bomb, the fuse, simple as you like. And here it is, OG, with the plant. Have been able to get a four spine. Ouch, man, two down to four. Just wants to have a little bit of a look, but cops so many nades down the gullet. Yeah, I guess I'll just, uh, I'll hang out at the back now, guys. Yeah, you need to take the space because Hampus, he's already rotated back over towards B and all that aggression that they're scared of and they're dealing with now from the three-man aggressive maneuver from NIP, it's, it's gone, right? So <laughs> this is the key with overpass. When you posture aggressive early as the CTs, the Ts have to respect it. They have to take their time, they have to flash, they have to clear. So we've already seen 55 seconds of play transpire and well, the only contact was those nades onto Mantus. OG operating now with less than a minute on the clock. We'll need to start to get a bit of a wriggle on. Rez, aggressive towards long device. The dice box is in sight and he's got company. How many can you get on a FAMAS with this line? He should be flashed. Turns it. Oh, he's quick on that as well. He's not even threatened. He's in limbo, though. He is, and he's trying to transition back. They're trying to bait, and so the hunt is on. And he... just some damage, actually. I can't believe Device didn't take either of those bullets connect. No, his scout has rattled off some shots. Hampers tagged up. The nades are good from OG, and this is a very, very threatening round. Device's scout good for the first two. Plopsky's oh. arrived, and so is Device. That scout good for a more damage as well. Nico just kept so honest. And that will be NIP just recovering. It looks so good from OG as the util dump came in. You can see people catching nades, flashes. But no bomb plant and no round. Yeah, I think this one... Uh ended how I think we all thought it was going to. It got interesting with the res death, but the fact that Device is able to just dance around with the scout like this, you love it, right? I know you'd prefer the AWP, but the fact you're able to be so mobile back and forth all over the shop, save NIP the round, and here we go, just one more for them to be getting up to those double digits. And it should be likely here. We've got some deagles coming out, P250. Block for Mantu, he wants that AWP as soon as he can. So no spending for him here, and ah, uh, okay. You won't be jumping that one again anytime soon, Hampus. See you later, mate. Ooh, I will leave a mark. And it's, it's after shots like that where you just go into the server and just try to find the least amount of head you can show on those jumps, and Rez just collecting third as well. Handle this, haven't they? Yeah. 
A couple of stuff. shots on him, but that is 10. I went and I had a look at the stats, right? Because I was talking about it before with Rez. Hold up a second. I'm just bringing her up right now. So in the first uh, few games within the group stage, so if we're including the Liquid game, the Entropic game, the Team 1 game, and the Fury game, the stats for Rez, he was uh, 0 0.93 in terms of his, his overall okay. rating as per HLTV.org. Uh, then it's only obviously been two series. We have to wait for this one to get tacked on before we have the full picture of the numbers. Uh, but he's currently with the with the uh, Gambit, Gambit series game and the, and the rest game, of the playoff. One point one six. Yeah. Okay. So there's a difference. difference. What's he up to? Device first with the M4, now with the AWP. He wants to contain this, and I mean it's late. He knows there's a timer on this. They could be wrapping around that playground. But this is where Device should be able to do his best work, right? This is where the Astralis Device. Is just left up to his own devices, as it were, and he has no pressure coming his way. Mantu wasn't able to get out his big green, so OG aren't operating with their perfect buy. And this is looking like last round. But Why are they so hesitant? I, I guess they're really scared of this orb. And device is a scary factor, right? But if you're not taking any space, he's just going to hang around. And now that Molotov, he feels a little bit pressure. He drops off back. But right now, there's not a lot of information for OG to be working with. They Not, don't have anything. No, I suppose luckily enough, Device hasn't felt threatened at all. Rez is still on B for now, but he will start hedging his bets back towards this A site. Flashes are being heard, upper bathrooms, more utility over towards mid, and a miss smoke as well. So looking a bit scuffed here for OG. Yeah, and it's not going to be very secretive. They'll boost for the info and... Oh, bit wobbly. Bit wobbly. He's up for the info in time and missed shot. They're going to continue to push the issue here. They're close. Rez straight through off the flash. He sets up for the one. 20 seconds. You better hurry up, Alexi. Pull up your socks and get jogging. Device denies anyone one else time. on long. The smokes will now obscure his view, but it's way too late. And the frags come one by one. As easy as that for the ninjas. OG don't really look like they have a good idea of their game plan, right? They look very disjointed there. The kills and the way that they're approaching the site, there's... The These are some of my going. favorite rounds, Chad. The Tech 9 rounds. I do love a, a quick, pacey, overwhelming Tech 9 armor. They've even got like some, a fair set of util as well. So if this at least leads to OG not spending 40 minutes clearing playground, that will be a nice change of pace. Well, this could put pressure on Device, right? Because he is in his own with the AWP. And having the pistols come out through the underpass, up through connector, he could get overwhelmed and swarmed here. Yeah, you're not getting more than one on this. Bates it, immediately loses that territory, and they fly through with a double flash. The rotate is quick from the ninjas. They know it's a light buy. The race is on. Yeah, it is. Truly a rat race into the A site now. And always so blinded. Flames too, though. And that's the first provided by the AWP. He uses that smoke to fall off. And you want to play around established. And they are pausing. Just pausing and retreating even to some capacity. OG look like they're uncertain. The whole team is here. I mean, the whole team is here. They go looking. Plopsky will have a free one onto Mantu. Now the Tech Nines activate. Valder with the first, but... Long range duels, Nico's Deagle a bit better for this kind of exchange. He's been given a chance, an opportunity. Won't get many more as I say oh. that. Rez's head does go bang, but 12 for the Ninjas. And now it's time to see if there's anything left of the OGT side. We haven't seen evidence that they can plant the bomb, never mind win a round. That was a great response from NIP because OG's call was perfect, right? Punish the Orpher in his position. As soon as he takes that shot, they tried to beat him to the site, but there's a Molotov already front site. There's flashes coming in from his teammates who are rotating and everybody scrambled to back device up. So that was a great little recovery unit that NIP had in case of that type of maneuver and it just stalled OG out, right? They were flustered. That we used all our nades. We can't get in. What now? And that what now has found them in a place where the AWP is back out for Mantu at least. So nade sails through the sky. Alexi cops that one to the side of the dome. Under 76 points of health. And they're really just set up. NIP round and round again. Look at the radar. You can see four members on this B bomb site. They have Linus, Plopsky, Hampers, and Rez, the swingman. They are just allowing Device to single-handedly hold A. And I'll tell you what, I really wouldn't fancy my chances of going B either. So I think the, the, the secret formula is something about making Device feel like he needs help. That's step sure. one. Step you have to one. pressure him. Otherwise, you're running into a stack. You have to make sure he feels like he can't do it on his own. The timer of what would be happening on Overpass is up by now. Like, at this point, Device should have somebody to help him. But he is just comfortably moving between long and bathrooms. There is no threat. Rez can stay planted. They can set up for this B hit, which is impending. 
Oh, God. And it, I mean, I don't see a way in which OG are going to crash into a four-man B setup. Oh, Rez has Rez I say headed. that three-man B setup. Blonsky. It's clear. Oh, info for Hampus as well. He knows they're coming. Rez might start to return. OG, 30 seconds. Here they come. They better clear him, and they do. Blonsky falls another. Falling into place, and now Hampus has to do so much. The damage is there, but it's not enough for all the lethality. 1v3 for Deve. Just shy of the mark. Zendry oh, doesn't quite hit it either. He flubbed that one. He's in a couple of missed nades. Wow, I'm, I'm impressed. They break through. Yeah, and, and considering for the majority of that round, it looked like there was a four-man B stack, so just doubting themselves a little bit there, the ninjas. The Vice would do good to hold on to this AWP because this has been one-way traffic on this CT side for the Swedes. They haven't lost a single round just yet. And because of that fact, their loss bonus is only 1,400 going into the next. So Device needs to hold on to this AWP. The rest of his teammates are going to be shy of a purchase. So OG have done yeah. well at keeping this at least competitive. Those Nico Deagles, you're starting to see they, they're worth their weight. Yeah, they absolutely are. I think what's also cool is that, you know, making a call like that, running through a monster tunnel smoke, at 30 seconds. Oh, I mean, how many oh, times? Oh, oh, he's lost it. They lose everything. Every penny, Chad. And as highlighted, look what it's left them with. This is the. This is how the gap seals right back up. And as I was talking about, this monster push. Running through a monster smoke. How often has that resulted in a, just a three-man spray down from jail? Yeah. You know, like, it's such a ballsy call. But look what the results. Look how they managed to have the chips fall. Yeah, it's just the timing on that monster push as well, right? Because if you're that player up close, you need to play a little bit anti-flash because you, if a flash comes, it's going to be perfect for your line of sight. So OG being able to get one past the keeper here, and you're right, that gap, it definitely can close up right now, avoiding any catastrophes. Yeah, their hard work in the first half has given them the cushion that they've been sitting there bottom on, but now at least stretching their legs. First T round posted by OG and set for a second as well. Moments where that could get dicey. Flames obviously quite noisy. Nades in his hands. Lucky he's got the back up there to start mopping this one up. Device pushed on down to 16 points of health, and it is just Rez. And I say just Rez. 28 kills. Can he make it 29? Man, two's orb. Too good. Rez loses his life, and round number 10, more than likely now. Just two more to find. Linus and Device. They're at the right bomb site at least. We haven't really seen a rush out of OG in too many of these rounds here. I don't think that's going to change right now either. It's going to take their time, make sure they get this one done. No flubs, no fumbles. Try not to give anything over. Flame's going to be a, a difficult Ooh. player to clear here, and some footsteps being heard now, so this could be it. Do you think Flubber held up? The like, movie? Yeah. It's an ancient one. Do you think it's actually held up? Do you think I'd watch that now and enjoy it? I love me some Robin Williams. I think it's Robin Williams. Yes. Uh, you'd, you'd need to go in with you're happy with a bit of the cheesy humor mindset. Yeah, okay. But that's beca because those movies are targeted towards kids, but they have some elements of adult humor like, in them. So when the mums like, walk past the TV, she has a chuckle and, and encourages his kid to watch the movie, you know? Yeah, but there's also some... I, I know in some of those animated movies, I don't know if you get it, but there's definitely humor in there that is going to go well and truly over the kids' heads. Oh, yeah. Right, that's the bit I like about watching those movies because there's some, I don't want to call it sophisticated. No. Maybe just... Hidden. Yeah, hidden humor. Yeah, I think that's pretty common. I, re I remember looking at some incredible curated thread of like all of the adult jokes in Ed, Ed and Eddie. You know, like... Oh, uh, okay. Just, you've got to entertain the parents because they're probably forced to watch it. You may, they may as well be enjoying it. Yeah. But they didn't do that in the network. Teletubbies, did they? My poor mum just going absolutely mad at these bad, crazy... Aliens. Hey, were they aliens? They were aliens. And they, they taught us bad speaking habits because they all just mumbled and spoke gibberish. Yeah, that's true. Bang. That's a miss. Device happy, though, to slip away. And I think he might call for help earlier than we previously outlined. So we talked about trying to force Device. Oh, he's caught. Oh, but he's alive. He alive. Why is he not dead yet? Another miss shot. Finally, Flames will punish. And now, OK, OG have done a lot of the hard work now. Alexi's surely going to be corralling his troops to convert. This completely rumbles the CT setup. Plopsky's already starting to walk on over and play uh -oh. more retake on B. Linus as well. Hampus and Rez are going to have backup here. So if OG continue forward, it's going to be into what looks like a gamble stack. Yeah. Linus is coming too, Alex. It's going to be... It's a, it's a full-on gamble of A right now. But this is where you'd expect someone as seasoned as Alexi to just send an eco probe, a Valde probe, have a look towards the other side of the map. Poke and prod just a little bit. 60 second mark. The bomb's still 
loose and the frags come to him. That it might force them forward. Might be. Bit of bad info in the idea of we've taken one another one down in this setup. They're very loud about this. Rez confirms his suspicions. He's been cleared though, and just brutality here out of OG. Making no secret of it. 30 seconds. If they pivot B now, this is perfect, and they're evacuating. So Volda contains the push, even spots one long. They should be able to get the bomb down. This could get interesting. It's going to be a two on three situation here. The bomb about to be planted on B. If they can find Nico, if they're able to clear out this position of Nico, they might consider it. But realistically, NIP don't have anything to work with. The save is the better option. That's been pushed down the pipeline. Looking like they just want to hold on to this AWP, and Nico might even hear some of these footsteps. I think he might have heard the scope. In which case, he's going to have a prime position to take them all away. First device. Now Linus losing the AWP. If we see this recovery, Plopsky could have a go. They should chase this. See if you can deny it. Because the next round's only 2,400 is the loss bonus, right? This AWP will be the best thing that wow. NIP have to work with here. So this is an important hunt for Alexi. Yeah, I think Plopsky should be safe. Yeah, it's looking good for him. Nice angle to adopt. Alexi charging and trundling up long. Plopsky will hear this. Plopsky heard it. Hopefully. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh! <laughs> Just as the round cuts away. Okay, 12 to 11. Back in this now, OG. What started looking like quite the flat T side, right? They didn't feel like there was any intent after a kill like this. Well, the game is completely shifted here. They can tie things up. 12-12, no dramas. Yeah, Just that eight. Helmet comes back to uh, save him as well. Like, Nico's whipped out a Mac 10 True, very true. Oh, they're going hard B. Device is actually going to be over here with the AWP. There's impact possible now. Okay, this could be a quick one. They're run boosting him across. Let's see it. Device looking to activate. Hello. And he flies into the whole squad. Only one. And the rest flashed up. This could be a quick end. It's only Plopsky with that CZ desperately trying to retreat into the smoke. They do not let him go. Rez, however, equipped with an AWP and losing that sight rapidly. The bomb's already down. Molly was a nice touch. Make it seem a little bit more threatening than it actually is. I was just talking about the fact that in this next round of the play there. Talk, yeah, yeah, so I, if, if you're Rez, you kind of hope you don't find an AWP there because maybe you'd actually go ahead and have a look for the round, see if you could win it here. 29 kills for him. Great to see. But this is OG tying things up. So this game has some legs to it. We've got Mirage up next, and uh, Dust 2 is the third, I believe. It's going to be uh, curious to see Mirage coming out here. It's uh, well, the most played map in Pro League, if you guys have been keeping up with the stats. Everybody loves a bit of Mirage, apparently. I'm sure you at home do as well. Smile on Device's face. So good to see that spirits are still high. All right, he got rocket launched into that fight in Monster here. There it is again. The fact he gets one is a bit of good fun. Look at this. Just over the top. Lands. Instantly gets the frag, but traded. So I wish I'd have loved to have seen it from OG's perspective. Like how much of them of device could they track, or was he just a react? Okay, so Mantu descending with Valder into the underpass. I don't know if it's just for the post up or whether or not we'll get to see a little more out of him. Short water is OGs. This is the same setup, right, that we saw before, where NIP just kept four players on B, but this time it's actually Rez, who I suppose could be a little bit more dynamic over towards A with that rifle, but he's already fallen back towards the top of the site here. So. A lot of room for OG. They don't realize this. They will have to go through their spread. They'll have to flash left to Molly if they want to go towards A. And okay, Nico's just been gifted one there. They picked and he's been traded out. Good stuff from Plopsky. Necessary find. This is spurring them quickly back towards the B site. So OG waiting for initiation. They've got it. <laughs> and Device has just departed as they made that call. So it's not the worst set for OG. And I do see a whole lot of nades. Do they want to oh, dump them or they get a as well. contact? Alex, okay. This is all on Plopsky right now. Yeah, and they're going quietly. Like, Plopsky will have no signs. Now he has a, a pin pull at the very least. Turns to address it, loses vision. They still haven't cleared him. They still haven't cleared him. There's the shot. There's the frag. It has to be a save. I think so. I mean, what Hamper's hanging around for? Just seeing if he can catch him spraying into the smoke, trying to deny. Oh, he's actually gone in. Trying to catch that plant. Can't seem to knock out of it. Fully committed to it. And hoping Vice can provide some support first. Found. More to be built off of this. Well, they're all in monster. This is about to get awkward. It feels awkward for OG. They're all 
one by one gonna take fights, I suppose. There's a potential smoke. Hampus has obscured their view, and I'm worried. NIP should have this. No defuse yet. Device is lining them up for miss. Doesn't cost him too much. One on one, and Alexi falls. Rez has got time, and NIP, a huge retake to be pulling out. I can't believe they've even looked in for that. No way. They lost the sight, you know, they're, they're down a man and all that. Hampus basically committed them to the retake, right? Jumping in like the madman that he is. That kill that comes his way is huge. It opens the door. And then you take a look at these post plants, right? You're having to look at where everybody from OG is corralled. Game on. I will admit, OG, their T side hasn't looked as threatening as it has on previous maps. Line is copping so much damage there, and he has a lot of nades on him. To go down through the smoke, that would be miserable for him. He would love to be able to keep Monster Smoke, use that molly. And OG are using... They're using the shadows in their favor, right? Like, that last round, because Nico, who is the B anchor, died to the trade, Alexi B used the timing, right? He's going, okay, so they're not going to be expecting anybody else in backyard. They think that we're going to be working on the A progress and use the timing. And again, they're kind of using this silence, the, the unknown against NIP. It's Rez jump spotting towards the top of the site. These nades destined for Plopsky's head here. This could be big. On your head, son. See you later. Oh, he lives. Okay, well, two players on B softened up now. OG, that's unconfirmed damage. They have no idea that Linus is low and Plopsky even more so. But is that enough to plant the feet of the full four-man stack? Like, we know how they're doing it, right? Rez is now trying to solo. He's just going to walk through this. Flames complete disrespect. This is faith in Alexi B as well, and Device is yet to pull the trigger, so just staying silent as you discussed. It's working well for OG. They've got some ra room, and Rez has no info. He hasn't called for help nothing. yet. 30 seconds, here now they come. Now we'll start to hear them. A smoke. Device still hasn't moved a muscle. Rez starting to realize there's way more than one here. Catching flashes, drops one. Oh. Nice catch in the smoke. Nearly takes down Alexi. OG, hard done by in the previous. They are getting the bomb down successfully. Will we see another ninja's retake? All from that bank side. They got flashes. They do. Kits as well on Linus and Rez. Device begging Nico to peek. And Valder's dealt with the first. There's more to come. NIP's looking to commit to this. Nico he spotted more around that smoke. Are they going? Are they nah, saving? That's the end of that. They I pulled think. the plug. I can't believe it. OG take 13. Well, they get one back, right? A number advantage. Post plant going against them. Now a number disadvantage. Post plant going for them. So. Uh, I, I feel that they got their dues, right? They but kind of felt like they should have won the last round. So getting one back here and NIP, you couldn't tell if they were committed or not until the final moment. Those nades just a little bit shy. So a chunk of damage done there, but it's not enough. Rez, it feels like here, we're getting one, getting damage through the smoke. He's done a lot on his lonesome. Oof. Okay. All right, well, we play on here. 13-13. NIP do have some questions that they need to ask themselves here. The loss bonus for... How much can they get out of this here, NIP? This time it's a completely different setup. Heavy over towards A, Device, Rez, Hampus, Slinus, all here. It's just Plopsky, the lone defender on that B bomb site. And the first contact is taken. Plopsky catches the monster walkout, Balder down, actually straight through the board. But Plosky's here in all of this. They've taken so much territory off of them. And well, Chad, I don't want to write them out too soon, but the three people that had rifles in this one still have their rifles. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's nice that they get to keep what they had, uh, but this is going to be the 14th now for OG. So there was a moment there. You could see Hampus trying to make a bit of a Hail Mary play right through the smoke with that M4 in his hands. Not being able to make any magic happen. And then I appear under the pump now. Right? I, I, I did say that the loss bonus was working in their favor. They're going to have residual cash on these three individuals going forward as well. So this is going to help them out. But if you don't get around, it doesn't matter. You're just going to lose the game, right? So they have good opportunities, but they need to get on the board here. And it, it feels like OG now are kind of calling around them, right? They went for more of an aggressive A lean there. OG find the path of least resistance in towards that B bomb site. So what started as a pretty disjointed T-half is starting to look pretty damn good. Yeah, 
okay, once Plopsky goes down here, it's, it's great for him to get one through the boards, right? But the fact that he's asked to do so much more, if he gets another, maybe, just maybe. But here we go. Buys are in. Everything they could possibly desire here. Yeah, I'm uh, looking to see if Mantu can activate into our second map of play as well. He's top five of the overperforming players. That is a rating that's got the largest disparity between the next highest on his team. So really leading for OG in the fragging department. We do see them cross long. Device aware of it. Very aware. He, he saw them. They didn't even consider Device's position. He's about to be flashed on off, though. Uh oh dead Dane. And more to come if Rez does strafe out. Takes down Alexi and no trade possible for the Mantu Orb. That doesn't seem to be dissuading them, though, Chad. Valder's actually on a bit of a project here. He was walking up. Hampus needs to be careful. Another misthrown nade just there, so a little bit deeper. May have found some damage here, but they're just crawling in on him. They're about to get a rude shock on this site. It's time for the util. Hampers, Rez, looking to stand their ground, and they have for the first, but that's all. Bomb to be planted. Plopsky, Linus, not much they have to say about this one. Okay, OG, lovely return. Again, I mean, in the last how many rounds of play has it been now? Four, five, six. In the last seven rounds of play, we have seen OG just convert six of them. NIP forced into these kind of situations all too often. We've seen, what has it been now? Like three, four saves in a row. Yeah, no more of those at least. Yeah. Right? They're going to have to go for a couple of these rounds now. They are on the death knock of the first map. This is their choice. Remember, Mirage coming up next. Us two will be that third if required here. And OG, in case you missed the group stage, they topped their group. They were fantastic. This man on your screen right here was a huge factor in that. Terrorists and it's good to see them carrying that across, right? They're coming in, I don't want to say rusty, but they haven't been in official capacity for uh, about two weeks now. So it's good to see that they're able to get things underway. And OG is a, a team here that I think we all know has, has some really nice pieces to it. We just want to see how far they can really push this squad. Plenty of money here for OG. No emissions into the buy. NIP, through virtue of the saves and the loss bonus, are looking great too. And the double AWP that's been called out here to defend and try and take NIP to overpass. One for Hampus, one for Device. Let's see if we got any difference makers here. I'd love to see what wallbang Hampus just tried to do from spawn there. He looked very naughty. Well, again, right? NIP, they've postured forward early with Device. Now he's dropped on back. There's just so much free territory here for OG. They're not worrying about getting picked, not worried about any of those dramas as a monster smoke will dip on down at about that 23 second mark. This time it's more of just a standard hold from NIP, right? They're playing two players over towards eight and three over towards B. There's no hedging, there's no crazy leans. They'll be noting all these sound cues, resin device relaying that to Hampus and Co. And it's a five man A crawl right now from OG. So no presence just, towards B. If they just walk, up toilets, and Long starts having contact around the same time. This is going to be very interesting about the, the spacing and the pacing here from OG. So, like, they're up Long now, and they're making no secret about it. They smoked up the mouth of Long. So, Plopsky is going, going to be summoned. To bank smoke there, so this is about to heat up a day. Device going looking and has nothing to report, and Alexi slipped the gap. I suspect the toilets may not be cleared, and both of them are hitting shots. Rez and Device. Partner up for a very solid defense. More to come. Mantu does dismantle device. Bomb planted, safe toilet side. And now this 2v2 retake. Chad, they better as hell go for it. We don't have a smoke, but we do have a kit. Linus equipped, and he's been very, very quiet on these retakes. Forced to save often, so now we get to see if he's got anything left in the tank. Can we play on? It's not going to be easy with the AWP and the bomb planted for him. Their chances starting to dwindle. The flashes pad would have to be brilliant. Linus has hit the shot of a lifetime. He's taken down Mantu. One of them has to be defusing and defusing now, just in the nick of time. I think Linus has extended play. Wow, what a recovery from the ninjas and when needed most. Linus with some impact. The impact of that defuse and now NIP to take us to overtime. Here we go. Round number 30. What is going to be the approach here from OG? Looking like the default spread. Nico 
over towards B, the Extinguish. And this is quick from Flames here. Might just want to go and fight Device. He's flashed, or noted. Yeah, that's a lot of info already. They know it's the Device variation, not the Res variation. Mm. In fact, both of them are hanging out together for now. Well, that was the key to the round, right? The fact that Device and Res combined were able to get so many kills from that bathroom position. Yeah. And they were able to make that one interesting for a two-on-two, -two, all things considered. But here they go. The crawl again, this time more bathrooms presence. There's a timer on this. Device is aware of it. They could slip banana side at any moment. Now he addresses it himself and actually, whoa, oh, Lord. there's trousers. They have no idea. Okay, so they're doing a long side hold this time as opposed to the toilet side of previous. It's going to be really on Device here because Hampus still has to swing on over. It's on Device. He's going to get caught off. Device has been caught oh out. The side's open. He was supposed to just have a glance and he's ended up with a bullet in the brain. Rez has to do so much now. And this is all for all the marbles. The last hour of play on Overpass. Your map pick and now Device forced to watch as this retake has to take shape. Rez though, the unknown entity looking to strike. First found, Optimus is clear. The round the world maneuver in play. Alexi's falling as well. Perhaps the retake is on. And Hampus delivering another. They all got these smoke. Frags. The smoke's already down. Mantu trying to put bullets into the smoke with an AWP. It's not the weapon for the job. Valder's not going to check it. They're sitting it. They're holding it. Overtime locked in. Another defuse. <laughs> Differently, and it already has. Device bringing some aggression to the mix. Res in support to hold him safe from the underpass. And even Hampus is ready to conflict with anyone through that underpass. So keep your eyes on Valder and Alexi and Con. One expert leading OG's way by the slightest of margins. And there he is. This is a very active defensive setup from Rez. He's been left now. He's yeah, on his abandoned own. now. Yeah, that's probably the time to uh, call that one quits and back on out. So it still results in the same. NIP quite passive on A, but the clear change up has been them having to play two players defending this site consistently now. Hasn't been any more of these four man leans. And now OG can start conditioning this B bomb site, even though we did have to go the full 30. They're getting their way. Oh, jail, jail, just out of his periphery. Oh, oh, oh. He's seeing some tips of heads. Taps away! Huge oh, from wow, Plotsky saves him. Saves his teammate and maybe even starts off this round for conversion. Flames in the meantime has cleared out a lot. Ad admittedly, long clear. Toilet's feeling pretty damn clear, at least on T side. But deeper device lingers, though. And that flash has not caught him. Flames will have to be cautious. And they are back to the A side of the map. And two jumps across. Device has been spotted out. And now Alexi. Oh, wow. Device goes forward. You'd think he'd use the smoke, but he's caught them on the hunt. That's wise. He's far too wise for you. And he's going to take the AK and continue to hunt. This is why you can leave him solo on A. He's done so much work. And Hampus just to finish off the job. Flames is caught. Mantu even cancelling his plant. That's perfect from NIP. You couldn't ask for a dreamier start to overtime. Yeah, I think the time there is why Device hangs around, right? Because if that smoke little gimmick comes on in and Alexi's been able to find some space, they flash, they go, they get into the site. But with so little time left on the clock, Device ready for the fight. This boost, you got to feel real hard done by. You're just in the tips of the head. You get so much damage done to Linus there. And you don't convert the kill. And at this point, it's scrambling. 15 seconds, Device. Well, he's not combat orping, he's picked up the AK. And he's been able to slow them down, so here we go. NIP, double orps, Rez wielding one this time round. And in towards connector here, so just throwing everything in the kitchen sink their way. Orp noted connector. They want to pop here. Oh, that nade. Good chunk of damage done. Three players on B to defend, and oh, here they come. They are charging in, Blomsky, vision restored in time. And He's kept on it. It's an Alexi double for OG. Great from Linus. Linus continuing to hold the line. I mean, he's locked in. Look at the molly. Look how deep it is. It actually enables him to peek. Oh, he's burnt Mantu out. Wait, look at Valder. Oh, Valder he pushed all pushed the way up. All the way. My God, Linus to finish the job right here. And now look at the, how powerful he looks in what's supposed to be a mega vulnerable corner. Yeah, that Molotov there. We've all had it before in a game where you've thrown it and it's bounced further than you want. I think right there, it's just saved Linus's life. Push, uh, forced Mantu back. Put him in a position right now where he's in a one on three with a minute on the clock. But what are you going to do? You've got the bomb. H how are you going to make this one work? Your HP, you got no nades. Uh, I took a trip to the future. All right. How's it look? It's bleak. Mantu doesn't even hit another all bullet. It doesn't even get to pull the trigger. Do we get back to land? We do, yeah. Uh, and it's, it's, uh, it's more than you could have possibly imagined. Oh, wow. 
you remember when like we used to have players like trash talking each other and being in front of each other and shaking hands, lifting trophies, confetti. It all comes back. Crowd. Oh, that right there has a bit of a gap to work with. So Mantu's in at least, but immediately traded. So great stuff there as Rez gets his 38th kill. And that's 17 rounds now for NIP. 19 the magic number in overtime numero uno. Just cleaning my ears out, Chad. It sounded like you said 38 kill. Yeah, he's been having a bit of a game, Rez. And this is great to see. It, it took losing a Furia and the coach, I think, to start getting the best out of him. But now we're really starting to feel his presence. Yeah. He has been a force for ninjas in this game right now. Next Off closest in the server is 25. That's Flames. It looks like a nice bowl of cereal as well. It's one of my perfect snacks for a Counter-Strike day. Nice choice on the fan cams. Device, Aggie. Ah, and Alexi does not go down. He's lucky to be alive. Trying to pluck him out of the air is not always easy. Fallen did make it look easy just yesterday. Oh, and Rez, Rez yeah, he wants to finish it for his squad and they're not ready for him. Still faffing around with nades and he might take another. Alexi keeps him honest. So that oh. fountain aggression. Could lead to some more action on the monster aggression. Nico spots out Linus, who's been a real thorn in his side. They both get attacked yeah, right they there. Do. And they're both sticking around. Device is not giving up on this line right here. Mantu, pick back in, he dares you. Great shot there from Device. Can't believe how long he's hanging around, right? You're expecting a player to come up connected. Maybe a flash, maybe a Molotov divided. Device taking some liberties here in OG. They might get blanked here in OT. Yeah, nothing to show for it. I do think some of the change-up and adjustments from the CT side of NIP are wise and well-informed. Linus. Hard roll to play, but he plays it perfectly. Again, strikes. And considering monster aggression, he walks straight into the spray. Plopsky reminds them who they're playing up against and gets at least the first. There's the last. That is a perfect CT half into the overtime. OG have had a very tall order handed their way. You've got to match a perfect defense. Otherwise, it's going to be the ninjas converting their map pick. Yeah, okay. Well, double OT or... We're quickly on to Mirage. Now, this has been a game. It's delivered. All right. When you get to overtime, it's definitely delivered. I mean, the finest margins in some of these retakes at the late stages as well. And this man right here on the screen, the rookie given it coming in clutch a couple of times, right? Yeah. With those diffusers with a couple of important oh. kills, and there's a chance for Device. Another miss. Nico gets away with his life. Well, does he? Uh, the flash is con confirmation that he will live on. Sigh of relief for OG fans in the chat. Mantu's not over towards A with the AWP. When we saw Mantu here before, over towards Sandbags on the B bomb site, it was when he had the saved AWP yeah. and everybody else had pistols, and NIP just managed to avoid him and head over towards that A site. If they continue on their current trajectory, right now, NIP are going to do exactly that. It's Hampus in Connector. It's the rest of them as nice little snake just walking a formation up through the bathrooms. Mantu's out of position here. He will not be able to contribute. Is Hampus keeping an entire B site busy by just ball banging from the con? Looks like he has. If, if anything, they're getting deeper into it. So, Nico, you better get this info safely. Okay, spots a lot and just swings out. That's the end of him, and that could be the end of Overpass. Alexi seems to disagree. Drops a smoke for him to play around a little later on into this one, and now the rotate's on its way, as is the plant. Plotsky should have Valder dead to rights. Mantu keeps it interesting. Flames caught by a device on the flank, and it all falls to Mantu now. Looks like the ninjas have done enough. He's got a full belt of util, may as well make it interesting. A lurky smoke. Pulls another flash of the boys of the ninjas in pajamas, but yeah, this defuse seems so far away. A distant dream. NIP have got this one in the bag, 19.